This video focuses on why insurance markets could not exist without risk-averse consumers and how to measure the premium individuals are willing to pay above the expected harm from the risks they face. Consider this example. You're taking your motorcycle on vacation and believe there is a 5% chance the motorcycle will be wrecked, using up $6,000 of your $8,000 vacation cash for repairs, leaving you with only $2,000 to enjoy the rest of your vacation. Let's assume that the utility you receive from income is shown as the square root of 5V. Really, any utility function that diminishes with income could suffice to make our point. Should you pay $300 for an insurance policy for your trip? Facing an uncertain event is like entering a lottery. There's a 95% chance you'll be able to enjoy your trip undisturbed, but a 5% chance you'll have only $2,000 to cover the other costs of the trip. So, the, your expected value of this vacation lottery is $7,700. Your expected utility from this lottery is the sum of the utilities of each outcome weighted by its probability or 195. Buying insurance for $300 allows you to avoid the lottery. You'd have $7,700 with certainty. The utility of $7,700 with certainty is equal to the square root of 5 times $7,700, which is 196.2. Since this is greater than 195, yes, you'd want to buy this insurance policy for $300 but no such policy will be available to you. Look at the problem from the perspective of the insurance company. There's a 5% chance the company will need to pay out $6,000, so its expected payout is $300, which is just equal to the insurance premium or fee you want to pay. 300 minus 300 is zero, but you have these operating costs. You need enough revenue to cover your underwriters, sales staff, office equipment, etc. The insurance company can't operate at a loss. So you're going to need to pay more because you are risk averse, you are willing to do so. What's the maximum you'd be willing to pay to avoid the risk of having your vacation ruined? you'd give up just enough cash so that you, the utility of what's left out of your $8,000, that is, the square root of 5 times 8,000 minus x, is equal to 195, the expected utility from the lottery. Squaring both sides yields 40,000 minus 5x equals 38025, or x equals 1975 over 5 equals 395. This is the maximum you'd be willing to pay you'd be just indifferent between having $7,605 for a risk-free vacation and $8,000 to face the consequences of a 5% risk of a major accident. The difference between the $395 you'd be willing to pay and the actuarially fair $300 is called the risk premium. In general, the risk premium is the amount we need to reduce the expected value so that the utility with certainty equals the expected utility of the lottery. 
Here, the expected utility of the lottery is 195. So we, the square root of 5 times 7700 minus RP. Squaring both sides, we get 38,025 is equal to 38,500 minus 5 RP, or RP is equal to 475 over 5 equals 95. So, you'd be willing to pay $95 above the expected loss, or a maximum of $395 to avoid the risk of having your vacation ruined. The risk premium arises whenever preferences exhibit a diminishing marginal utility of income. That is, whenever individuals are risk averse. Consider this example. Suppose you'll be graduating this year and you need a job. If you go through interviews, you think there is a 50% chance you'll get an offer from an economic consulting firm paying $90,000 a year. Or there's a 50% chance you'll have to work as an intern with a similar firm with a stipend of $10,000. The consulting firm for which you interned last summer would hire you if you say yes now. What's the minimum it would have to offer you to get you to say yes? Your expected income from going through the interview process is $50,000, generating an expected utility of two hundred. dollars The risk premium in this case is the amount of income you'd sacrifice for peace of mind. So we want to compare two hundred dollars with the square root of $1,000 times $50,000 minus the risk premium. That is 40,000 is equal to 50,000 minus 5 RP, so RP is equal to 10. That is, you'd give up $10,000 in expected income for the certainty of having a job that yields an income of $40,000. Graphically, we can read the utility of any job market outcome off the curve of the utility function. The dashed red line displays every linear combination of the utilities from the high and from the high and low paying jobs that is the expected utility for any given probabilities of the uncertain interview process. Moving from left to right along the red line shows us how the expected utility changes as the probability of getting the high pay job increases. The utility of receiving $50,000 with certainty is greater than the expected utility of, the, of entering the interview job lottery. Moving to the left from the expected utility to the equivalent level of utility with certainty traces out the risk premium. The amount you'd be willing to give up to receive with certainty the utility you'd expect to receive from entering the lottery. In this case, this leads you to accept any salary offer from your old employer of $40,000 or more.